Hello, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of Hannity. I'm Tammy Bruce, in for Sean. And tonight, with Thanksgiving just a few hours away, the White House is reminding Americans to be thankful for Joe Biden's tremendous record of accomplishment. That's right. Today, they published a list of everything we, the people, should be thanking them for. From gas prices, now roughly double under Biden, to the record levels of unfunded spending that caused inflation, to rising uh, taxes uh, and planning on raising them even more on everyone, except, of course, for those making above $400,000 a year. And here's, every, here's one more thing to be thankful for, according to the Biden administration. They are now encouraging institutional investors to prioritize climate change over profits. Finally, a new rule from the Labor Department allows investors overseeing your 401ks or pension funds to forego that pesky profit in order to consider, quote, the economic effects of climate change. In other words, they can now throw your retirement savings into fringe green technologies or other woke causes and lose your money with zero consequences. Not that that's ever happened before. Meanwhile, abroad, more bad news. In Ukraine, the war continues to rage and will likely continue indefinitely. In Iran, the administration's precious nuclear deal has fallen apart, as Iran's supreme leader is now openly referring to Biden as demented. And let's, God help us, and let's not forget about the vice president's big trip to Asia. Watch this. Hello. 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 Thank you. Hello, mom. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Did she, like, urge the first one to go buy facets? Hello. Thank you. We are not in good hands. I think we know this. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.